And now, a Zone It 91.3, 91 second movie review. Five, four, three, two, and action! Well, it's safe to say that I've added this to the roster of regularly revisited Disney properties. Raya and the Last Dragon is easily one to recommend to the entire family. The film adds a layer to the traditional and formulaic methods of storytelling that Disney typically employs and delivers a fun, thoughtful, and visually stunning epic about hope, healing, and the value of unity and trust. The film's ingenuity and the title character's complexity elevate this movie to be a top-tier film in the House of Mouse. Raya and the Last Dragon tells a tale of the fictional world of Kumandra, a land where humans and dragons once lived happily among each other. After defending the land against a threat known as the Droon, the dragons disappeared and Kumandra was left divided. Five centuries later, the same threat looms, sending Raya on a quest to find the Last Dragon in order to defend against the Droon for good. The story's central themes and overall message are incredibly poignant and timely. The importance of unifying the land of Kumandra is mirrored not just in real-world politics, but in the discourse, polarization, and selfish nature that very much drives our not-so-fictional world. And while I'm probably making it sound super heavy and depressing, it also contains a lot of laughs and heart. While the film is rich in female empowerment, it manages to venture deeper into its character's relatability. For instance, our hero's decisions throughout the film film are driven by her distrust in others. And while she learns a great deal in the end, it's really Raya's flaws that make her one of the most captivating Disney princesses ever created. Cut! That's a wrap!